Hey everyone, welcome back. This is just a quick follow-up to the linear trees video we did earlier this week. There was a couple comments to see if we could have some code to go along with that. And since I had the code already ready, we can just run through this pretty fast. The only new library you need is to pip install this linear tree library. So this already does everything we need to do. And so once you've pip installed that, you can import it just like this. And the rest is pretty simple. So we're just going to use some synthetic data that looks like this. This is a perfect candidate for something like linear trees because you can see there's these four local linear trends pretty clearly, but using a single linear regression, trying to put a single line through it probably isn't going to do the trick, as we'll see, and also using a simple regression tree probably also won't do the trick. So let's see what happens with a simple linear regression. So we have a prediction function with this orange dots that looks like this. You can see what it's trying to do, some kind of average between all the data. The root mean squared error here is about 10.18. What if we use a standard regression tree instead? Then we have something that looks like this. You can see it's sort of capturing the average of these four clusters as these flat predictions in each region. And the root mean squared error is actually better, but you can see there's still improvement to be made. And finally, linear tree. So let's look at this piece of code because this is the only really new code. So we have a linear tree regressor. This is very parallel syntax to the sklearn syntax, which is very nice. The base estimator is a linear regression, and we just have a max depth 2. We also had a max depth 2, by the way, for this tree here. And so we go ahead and fit it just like we would a normal sklearn model, and we predict in the exact same way as well. And we get these much better predictions with a much, much better RMSE of just 4.6. And so I mentioned this in the marker and paper video, but it's a pretty cool combination of this idea of using a decision tree to figure out what these clusters should be and then using a local linear regression in each of those clusters to get better performance than either one by itself. This code will of course be available in the description below and I will see you next time.